Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. So thinking on a new concept for these videos now, thinking of doing basically shorter videos with a higher frequency of upload. So hopefully that will be of value to you all. Um, so let's dive straight in. So basically in the last video, we spoke about a potential bullish scenario, which was invalidated pretty quickly. And I spoke about this on Twitter saying, if we lost that level, then the next target was probably going to be in and around 35k. So I want to just highlight some of the high time frame potential levels of support in this video. So first of all, from an edit wave perspective, I'm still looking at this as a potential uh, bullish continuation pattern that we're forming here, where we're looking at it as a W an X, and then we're looking for the Y, where the Y could be at two various levels, in my opinion, at this moment in time. So there is the running double three, which would be w x y to here and then there's the expanding double three where the y would come down to this point here so why have i chosen these two levels of 35k and 24k well one of the reasons is based on our camarilla pivots so camarilla pivots you can see here 2018 very significantly s4 offered support 2019 r4 resistance 2020 uh, s3 support going into 2021 we actually finish the year above the r4 very bullish sign and then what you usually do with camera pivots you look for support off of the s3 or the s4 in the subsequent year okay as you can see s3 at 35k s4 at 24k so that's one thing i'm looking out for next thing is our monthly range you can see this series of green candles three red candles here top of the range being at 59k bottom of the range being at 35k so another piece of information for why 35k is significant next bit of information is this big gap that we have here on the bitcoin futures chart so as you can see sitting at around 24k you can see that gap would be closed okay so another reason for why we're targeting potentially 35k if we don't see a bounce there then the next level of support is 24k so how are we monitoring this move down well essentially what i use is pitchforks so if we just bring the pitchfork that i'm using here so I, I'm looking at this as more of a WXY because this move down, I cannot see it being an impulsive move to the downside. I don't see it acting as a C wave. It's looking very three wave-ish the way it's playing out. You can argue this is an A, this is a B, and we're on the C right now, which could be prolonged, as I say, all the way down to 24K, but we'll see how it reacts around 35. Okay, so what we're looking for is a move above, for example, the upper median line here on the Bitcoin chart, but more accurately, I would be following the Ethereum pitchfork, which is this one where we've got more tests of the pitchfork, so it's probably more accurate. I'd be looking for a move above the upper median line of this pitchfork so as i say if we hit 35k on bitcoin and move above the upper median line here on ethereum for me that would be a strong show of strength uh, alternatively if it moves all the way down to 24k and then goes above the upper median line then that's when i'd see a switch in momentum so these are the key things i'll be looking out for so that pretty much rounds it up as i say they're shorter videos now hopefully this will be of use uh, leave a like if you are finding value in these videos and leave a comment if you've got any feedback and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you do want to be updated on further videos. All right, guys, going to wrap it up. Take care.